It was in fifth grade. My teacher was Amy Biddle, and everyone was up there sharing their testimonies, and everyone was so happy and just ready to share how they came to Christ. And I kind of like realized in that moment that that's what I was missing in my life because I was happy, I was in a good place, but something was missing. And then I prayed with her, and that's when I accepted Christ as my Savior. Like happiness doesn't really describe how you feel when you take that step because it's you're a new person. Like I love my parents to death and they've always treated people with kindness. And my mom was one of the biggest influences in my life for that. She was always such a hardworking person and always the sweetest person to everyone and everyone loved her to death. And my sophomore year, everything was going fine. My sister was about to get married and we were going to Boulder Creek for the rehearsal dinner that night. Everything was going great. And she was checking out the venue. She was perfectly fine. And then that night, she had to go into the hospital because of some health problems. We didn't know what was gonna happen. We still thought she was gonna go home that night and everything was gonna be all right. They came to the conclusion that she had cirrhosis of the liver and that she was going to have to be put in a medically induced coma. And it got better for about two weeks until one night we got a call and my dad picked up the phone and I could tell something was wrong, but I didn't really know what. He didn't tell me. He threw the phone at the wall and then left and went to the hospital. And I called my sister. I was trying to figure out what was going on. And then my dad called both of us and said that we needed to get down to the hospital that night and say goodbye to our mom. And I didn't know how to feel at the time because everything happened so quickly because no amount of time to prepare for it was going to help, but that it was only two weeks and then it was only a couple hours. We went to the hospital that night with the rest of my family and my mom's best friend, and we all said goodbye to her, just one by one. I was just lost at that point because it was someone who hadn't necessarily led me to Christ, but had led me to be a good person and had shown me so much in my life and she was just that person that I could always look to and find happiness and that that was gone was just something hanging over me. I realized through teaching at Bethesda and going to missions trips, going to LA, going to even New Pal, Indiana, those places just made me realize that there are so many people who are unreached with Christ. And with my mother being unreached with Christ and her being in my own home, it made me realize how many people out there need the gospel and how it tears me up that my mom hadn't come to Christ when she passed away. That just broke my heart and it gave me a heart to share the gospel more and to share my faith that I had never really had before. There are some moms at Bethesda that have just really, they've stepped into a bigger role because obviously like I needed someone to fill that role for me. And so I went to the store and I got them all a bouquet of roses just because they deserve a little more from me just because they've done so much for me. and. Obviously, that's not going to repay them, but it's a little appreciation that I was able to show. Everyone has a testimony, and this has been mine. My name is Scott Imel, and I believe in Jesus because he's always there for me.